Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the roots of a quadratic equation. We have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0 and we're going to evaluate x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the roots of this equation even though they were not stated, hopefully that made sense. We're going to find this sum, which is kind of like 1 minus x sub 1 over 1 minus x sub 2 and it's reciprocal added together. So I'll be presenting two methods, even though we're going to talk about other things. Let's start with the first one. Now for my first method, I'm going to do what is called brute force. Okay, so I'll make a common denominator. Why not? Right. Let's multiply this by 1 minus x sub 1 and this one by 1 minus x sub 2. And of course, the denominators and numerators. So we're going to get 1 minus x sub 1 squared plus 1 minus x sub 2 squared all over 1 minus x sub 1 times 1 minus x sub 2. You could also say x2. Sometimes I do say x2 instead of x sub 2. Same thing. Okay. So this is what we're trying to evaluate. And we're going to find the numerical value for this. Make sense? Now, let's go ahead and expand the squares and everything. This is going to give us 1 minus 2x1 plus x1 squared plus 1 minus 2x2 plus x2 squared all over 1 minus x2 minus x1 plus x1 x2. Now, one of the things that we're going to use here, which is very helpful, is called Vieta's formula. So let's briefly talk about Vieta's formulas, and then I'll come back here and solve the problem. So Vieta's formulas are basically, and I also made a video, you can go ahead and check that out as well. But Vieta's formulas basically gives us relationships between the roots and the coefficients. So if you have a quadratic equation like this, and suppose x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the roots, then we can safely say that x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is negative b over a, and x sub 1 times x sub 2 is c over a. And where does this come from? It just comes from the fact that we can write the quadratic equation by using its roots because the, uh, the factor theorem allows us to do it. And by setting the coefficients equal to each other, we get these relationships. Make sense? So those are Vieta's formulas for a quadratic equation. Also make sure to check out the video, uh, the lecture video that I made on Vieta's formulas. Okay? Great. Let's go ahead and see how we can simplify this expression now. I have x sub 1 squared and x sub 2 squared. Let's go ahead and write that down here first. And I'll tell you how to manipulate that. And then we have these two things. I can definitely take out a negative 2. So factor negative 2 times x1 plus x2. And then finally, I have the 1 plus 1, which is 2. So that's numerical. So that's easy. Divided by, at the bottom I have 1, which is good. And then I have the x1 times x2, which is the product, which we have a formula for. And then here, these two things, we can actually take out a negative 1 or just put a minus sign outside and write this as a sum. And when you negate it, you're going to get the exact same thing. Make sense? So that's what, the same thing. Now, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and write down my expression or equation and then go from there. Now. How do you find x sub 1 plus x sub 2? And what is this one? It's the sum of squares. You can write something for that. So x sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 squared is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 squared minus 2 x sub 1 x sub 2. Now we do know from here, Vieta's formulas gives us the sum of the roots as 4. Remember, it's the opposite of this. And the product as c over a, a is 1. So it's going to be 1. So these are the two things that we're going to use in our equation, all right? So here, for example, if you plug in 4, you're going to get 16 minus 2, and that's going to be 14. So the sum of the two squares is 14, which is what I'm going to substitute here. What about the other ones? We already know that, right? This is equal to 4, this is equal to 4, and this is equal to 1. So here's what we need to evaluate. Let's go ahead and clean this area, and then I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this and simplify okay because we need a, we have everything we need now this is going to be 14 minus 2 times 4 plus 2 divided by 1 plus 1 minus 4 this is going to be 14 minus 8 which is 6 
plus 2 is going to be 8. And 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. So the answer would be negative 4. So this sum is equal to negative 4. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Because now we're going to look at the second method. Because that was the first method, right? Okay, so the first method was making a common denominator and just solving the problem. The second method is going to be a little different. And can I just briefly go over it because we're not going to complete this. And did I, did I say I'm going to present two methods? Actually, I changed my mind and I'm going to present three methods. Because the second method is going to be super quick, okay? So for my second method, I'm just going to tell you how it's done and the rest you can complete. We're going to find the solutions. If you solve this quadratic equation, we're going to find x sub 1 and x sub 2, right? So if you solve it, you're going to get something like 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. I mean, easy. You can use the quadratic formula or complete in square or portion and laws method, which I also made a video about anyways. So you can go ahead and plug these in. It's going to be cumbersome, yes. For example, 1 minus 2 minus root 3 divided by 1 minus 2 plus root 3. And then I have the reciprocal of this thing. Maybe I can simplify one of them and then uh, flip it and add. Uh, that might be easier. But anyways, that's a lot of work. That's why it's left as an exercise for you. Okay, don't hate me for that. And here's the third method. So the third method is actually really cool because it's just awesome. It's again using Vieta's formulas and that kind of reminded me an interesting version of this problem which I'll talk about if I don't forget. But anyway, here's, here's how it works. Notice that in this equation x sub 1 and x sub 2 when multiplied gives us 1 from c over a, right? I can use this to my advantage and write x sub 1 as 1 over x sub 2, right? I mean the other way, I'm sorry. x sub 2 as 1 over x sub 1. They're reciprocals, in other words. Make sense? Great. Now, how do you use that information? Replace all the x sub 2s with that. Let's see what happens. So we're going to get 1 minus x sub 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over x sub 1 plus 1 minus 1 over x sub 1 over 1 minus x sub 1. I could probably just simplify this and then look at the other one or whatever. It's going to be 1 minus x sub 1. Oh, one thing that will make this problem a little easier is multiply the top and the bottom by x sub 1. It's going to be x sub 1. And don't distribute, please. Distribute at the bottom. x sub 1 minus 1. And then distribute x sub 1 again. x sub 1 minus 1. And this is going to be x sub 1 times 1 minus x sub 1. Why did I not distribute? Because I'm going to need to simplify some stuff. All right? Ready for that? So here's what we're going to do. We can definitely make a common denominator, but I don't want to do it. So I want to negate this guy over here. See, 1 minus x sub 1 is the opposite of x sub 1 minus 1. So I can kind of write it as minus x sub 1 minus 1. Notice that this negative is going to act on that. And we're going to get the same thing. And here the same thing. It's kind of like negative 1 times x sub 1. The other way around. Negative 1 times 1 minus x sub 1. Divided by x1 times 1 minus x sub 1. And here, we're going to get rid of these two and these two. And we're going to end up with the following. Look at this. Negative x sub 1 minus 1 over x sub 1. But 1 over x sub 1 is the same as x sub 2. So this is negative x sub 1 minus x sub 2. But it's the opposite of the sum. But the sum is 4, remember? So it's negative 4. You got that? So we did manipulate this a little bit by using the fact that their product is 1. And then we use the sum, of course, at the very end. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.